the combinations of creation, if you have a really, really, really strong desire mm -hmm. and a, a fairly strong <coughs> resistance, sometimes your desire is strong enough that it keeps you moving in the direction of what you want, even though you're not letting it happen easily and you're having a rough ride. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like your determination is making it happen. And, and the universe is helping you to make it happen, but your resistance is making it hard on you. So that's one combination, strong desire and medium resistance. Still, you know, a lot of people, in fact, most of the people on this planet that you see sort of making a living and living a good life fall into that category. They've got strong desire and enough resistance to keep it from being fun. Then <laughs> really yeah. they're succeeding. They're just ornery. Yeah. Then there's another group of people who, who have wanted and had resistance and wanted and had resistance and wanted and had resistance. And they've just been beat up long enough that now they just hardly won't even let themselves want anything. But contrast keeps causing them to ask for more. So they are, they are not happy either because they are asking, but deliberately not allowing and asking and deliberately not allowing. In other words, they are actually in a worse state of being than the first group because life keeps causing them to ask and then they put their own brakes on and then life keeps causing them to ask and they put their own brakes on little kids are really and the beasts of your planet are really in the best place because they want and don't doubt they want and don't doubt so in the beginning don't you remember those fresh feeling early days when you wanted and no one had convinced you that you couldn't have it yet and the more you kept to yourself, the longer you lived like that. But the more you opened up to those who had already lost faith in their ability to have what they wanted, then they began giving you their, their reasoning that, well, you don't, you, you don't want to hope too big because I don't want you to be disappointed. And we say, the universe will not disappoint you. The universe will give you exactly what you expect. Especially so, so let's talk Sorry. about the word expectation. Expectation is the perfect blend of desire and belief. In other words, if you want it and you think that there's a way to achieve it, your expectation is in a place that there's very little resistance and you're moving along pretty well. If you want it and you really doubt it, then you are not. And every one of you on a myriad of different subjects has a different vibrational combination. There are some things that you want and you just expect. And so there's no resistance and they come easily. There's some things that you want and you don't expect and they don't come easily. And what we're wanting to emphasize and activate within you, and you've said it already, is that things are already always working out for you. You must be able to expect that. Can't you stand and look at the sky and see? and sense your earth spinning in perfect proximity to other planets, doesn't that give you reason to expect well-being? Doesn't it? Do you know no food, no new foods being trucked in from anywhere? Your planet is self-sufficient in that regard. The stuff isn't coming in from other places. You are discovering it from the, from the diverse plethora of ingredients. You are creating uh, more and more and more. And so anything that you do that gives yourself reason to expect things to work out, that really is the perfect plan. Very good. Thank you very yes. much.